Hey, it's Predict with Remax. I hope you guys are doing well. And I've got a very important market update for you. As it stands today, right now, at the end of September of 2022, where are we currently? For context, let's explore where we've been. And most importantly, let's look at where we might be heading in terms of our real estate market. And if we look back, unless you've had your head in the sand, you've seen that the real estate market has been absolutely nuts with 20 to 25 percent year over year increases in value with the demand grossly grossly outweighing the supply driving prices through the roof and if you look back at the earlier this year if you watched any of our videos you saw that mm, maybe the tides are starting to change and the Federal Reserve has seen that inflation has gotten absolutely out of control. COVID, lockdown, supply chain issues, all these things have caused stuff to get really, really expensive. And so in order for them to curb inflation, they're trying to stifle consumer spending. And so we started to see that they're bringing the federal funds rate up and they've done a bunch of increases this year with the one last week being 75 basis points. And last week, the Federal Reserve Chairman, Jerome Powell, said that the real estate market is in for a difficult correction. And so what does that mean? Well, we've seen it over the past couple months that the market has started to shift. We've seen the days on market double since June, we've seen price reductions, we've seen the demand start to soften because money has gotten more expensive to borrow. And boy, has it gotten expensive to borrow. Because as it stands today, the mortgage interest rate on a 30-year fixed mortgage is north of 7%. Compare that to last year when it was just below 3%. So what does 2023 hold? Well, it's very likely that there will be a correction in the market. We could see the real estate prices come down a little bit with the demand dropping. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh my gosh, this is going to be a 2008 crash. And there are a few reasons why that is unlikely. Number one is the unemployment rate is still very low hangs at around 3.7% nationally. Number two, the largest demographic of people in the United States are 30 to 34 year olds who are tired of renting and want to get into their first home. And number three, they're still north of $25 trillion in equity. Homeowners have equity. And so it's very unlikely that we're going to see a real estate crash like we saw in 2008. However, the Federal Reserve is doing what they can to stifle consumer spending, and it's very likely that real estate will be impacted by that. So I'm curious to hear what you guys think. If there's anything that I can do for you, let me know. Till next time, take care. Hey, it's Britic. If you are considering buying, selling, or investing in real estate in Bellingham, Whatcom, and Skagit County, I would love to connect with you. You can call me or text me directly at 360-920-1218. I look forward to connecting.